Hi everyone, it's Jen from The Clean Fitness, and today I have another fat training of workout for you. So peripheral heart action training workout is going to alternate upper to lower, so getting a full body um, workout in, but alternating. So allowing your body to recover from those lower body exercises which use bigger muscles while you do your upper body parts, okay? So we're gonna start with a nice little band and warm up. Um, so I have a light band to use for this. And then we're gonna go into some um, weighted moves, doing a little bit of drop sets. Um, and then we're gonna use um, my elevation for some hip thrust, so you will need that. Dumbbells, kettlebells, the usual, and some bands. And then I am gonna do a pull up. Um, so pull up, so you need a pull up bar as well. So we're gonna start with a warm up. It's gonna be 10 reps. We have four exercises that we're gonna run through twice. All right, so I'm just gonna use my really light band, starting with um, pull downs, just because we're gonna be doing pull ups. So arms straight up, and you're gonna bring it down to your chest for 10. So spreading out that band. One, core tight. Two, really think of those lats when you're doing these. Four, five, we'll do deadlifts next. Six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so bringing the band under both feet and pulling up into that deadlift. So you can hold the bands wherever you want to give that good tension. Nice stretching in the hamstrings and the posterior. Four, Five, six, seven, squeeze those glutes, eight, nine, and ten. We have curl and press, so I'm going to make this a little, lot lighter, <laughs> just for that press. So curling it up and pressing, and then reverse back down, so almost like a hammer curl. You can obviously use different kind of bands. So do the bands with the handles. Or this is just a warm up. <laughs> Grab it a little bit different. There we go. Five, five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, one more. And then we have static lunge to finish. So then I'm just going to grab it like this, holding that weight up and going up and down for 10 on each side. One, two, three. There's balance here, so keep that core tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switching sides, and then we will go back to the start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Starting to feel some warmth, okay? And nine, and ten. All right, back to those lat pull downs. One more time through. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We did this. Some nice little hinging there, hip hinge. Feel that nice stretch too. Three, four, five, six, seven. Head in good alignment. Eight, not looking at your feet. Nine, ten, curl and press. One, two, Three, four, five, five more, six, seven, go 
hopefully we're getting warm. Eight. Nine. And 10. Static to finish. And then we're gonna move on to a superset. Bring these beans up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And lower. One, two, three, four, five, this is it, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we are moving on to our first superset. We're going to do hip thrusts. I'm going to do the banded, and I'm going to alternate it with dumbbell clean and presses. So the clean and presses are going to stay the same as eight reps, but with the hip thrusts, we're actually going to do um, Need a little padding here. So we're gonna do drop sets. Actually, we're gonna do yeah, drop sets. So each round of drops, the reps will change. However, we're gonna start with 10. So we're gonna do full range, dead stop, and then pulses for 10. So it's a lot of reps. So not super heavy on these. Um, I'm gonna do them banded as well. So my bar has 135 on it. Usually don't use this band for my or this bar for my hip rest. So let's we'll see if I can make this work. It's like the curl bar, okay? We have ten full range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, maybe ten. Desk up. One, two, three, four, five. All the way down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We have ten pulses. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, eight clean and presses. I'm gonna use my twenty fives for that set. You can use whatever you got. <laughs> if you want to use barbell, go for it. One. Two, core tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we go back to the hip thrust. This time, eight reps for all three moves. Two good patty. <laughs> One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, two more, core tight, power it up, seven, and eight. Right. Back to those hip thrusts and out six. Just clean and press to get your heart rate up. We want those supposed to help you recover, right? Alright. Six reps. Double on up. Six full. One, two, keep those knees out. Three, four, five, six, six steps up. One, two, three, four, five, and six, six pulses. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. The presses. Here we go. One, two, three, four more. Knees, okay, and eight. Last round, four reps. Now you should warm up. <laughs> as the other side works. So I'm gonna go lighter here and do a deadlift. So I'm gonna do 30 for my first round, see how that feels. Cause you're just gonna do a stagger and everything's staggered. So you're gonna do staggered eight, then you're gonna do st staggered clean. Since we're racking in here, not catching, that's why I'm going lighter. Then we're doing a squat, and then you're gonna do an upright row, okay? Eight reps, Whew. starting with that staggered deadlift. For eight. I'm gonna start with my right. Two, three, 
four, five, hinging, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna clean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Upright row or high pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, lower, we're gonna switch sides. Eight staggered deadlifts. One, this is light for the deadlifts. The other stuff, very challenging. Four, five, six, seven, eight, we're gonna clean. One, two, three, core tight. Four, five, six, seven. Keep it up for the squats. One, and you can hold it like this, would you? That helps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. High pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ooh, catch your breath. Two more rounds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clean it. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can use a dumbbell. Seven. Easily for this. I'm just gonna have a little assistance on this so I can go deep. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. High pulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Clean it. One, two, power it up. Be strong. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. We got those squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right row or high pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One more time through, for each side. Catch your breath. Here we go, right back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, clean it up. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, Bending and squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, I was there. <laughs> I heart rate <laughs> complex as always. Here you go, eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, clean it. One, two, core tight, give these balances. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, high pulls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're done with that set. Whew. So we have a super set, increasing reps. I'm gonna use my elevation, I'm gonna use dumbbells. So what we're going to do is I'm going to wrap my weights, I'm going to use 25s, I'm going to do one box squat and then one push press. We're just going to go to five, this should be really, really quick. One to five reps, alternating between the two. So racking those weights, take a deep breath. So box squat. And then push press for one. Two box squats. Squeeze the glutes. One. And two. One. And two. We got three. Like I said, this is gonna be quick. Two. And three. We got three. One. Two. And three. Four reps. One, two, just kind of working some of the muscles we just worked. Four push -ups. One, two, three, and four, on to five. One, two, three, four, all right, here we go, five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, we're done that set. We're gonna move on to a time set. So we're gonna do this in the AB format. So we're gonna repeat the two exercises, then move on to the next two. So it's a 12 minute set. Whew. So we're gonna start with a reverse lunge to a static lunge. So we'll stick to one side. So reverse lunge, static feet together. We'll do the same leg the whole time. Then we're gonna do a hollow hold chest press. So I'm gonna use 25s for those two exercises. Then we have a goblet dead stop. So I'm gonna use my elevation, lower my weight, and come on up, I'm gonna use my 35 for that and we will push up um, single arm grounded overhead. So I'm gonna use my for that as well. Then the last two exercises are prone leg extension, so I need my black band for that. And then bear hold, K 
kickbacks. So I'm just gonna use 15s on that, all right? 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. I'm gonna set up my timer, part of my 25s. With the reverse lunge to static, I'm gonna start with my right leg. Play up ring here, so going back. Actually, my left leg's gonna be working on my right toe and back. And I'll stick to these 25s for the hollow hold. I'm move my elevation so I have room here. Even though I'm gonna need it for my goblet. So remember which leg you're on. For the second round, you're gonna do the other leg. Feet together. Down. Feet together. 20 seconds. So hollow hold chest press is next. Feeling that left side being worked. Okay, go deep. 10 seconds. Three seconds. I'm just gonna move my elevation to my space. Chest press, hollow hold. I feel like I still don't have Alright, so holding your legs up and your shoulders off the ground. And you're pressing. So feeling those abs working. So about a couple inches off the ground. We go back to the reverse of step, doing the other leg after these. So one more time through. Sometimes it's nice to do them back to back so you don't have to like constantly switch through equipment. seconds. And then we got that chest press again. Eight. Keeping my 25s for this chest press. But then I'll also keep it for the um, push up ground overhead. All right, feet up. Pressing it up. So you're gonna pop back into a push up, pop it in, grab one weight, ground overhead. And then do the other one, but obviously the first exercise after this is your dead stop goblet. So I have my 35 holding it goblet style and lowering on an elevation, really forcing you to go pretty deep into your squat. Lots of squats today. I'm not a big fan of squats, but gotta do them. When you change it up, Makes it so much easier to do. <laughs> Not bored bore on me now, like, gotta change it up. Five seconds. <sighs> Alright, starting with those ballots. Keep these nearby. Hold my weight, straddle my elevation. So coming all the way down. And all the way up. Well, not all the way up. I don't want you to lock out your knees. But squeeze those glutes. Feel that nice stretch. This is a probably quicker 
so if you don't have time to do more than an hour, I believe this will be less than an hour. I could be wrong. <laughs> Just guessing at the moment. All right, lower that weight. We got that plank push up into ground overhead, alternating. So pop it back, push up, pop it in wide. Single arm ground overhead, grab the weight, tap to overhead. I like to do it like kind of like you're straddling the weights so that way it's in the middle of your legs. And kind of get in a tricep push up there. We have one more time with these. Goblets first. So next time I'm actually gonna do my left first. We got goblets. You'll need your band for the next leg exercise. For those prone leg extensions. So the band will be in your hands and then the band will be behind your knees. And you can do it just regular bear hold position for that. Or I'm gonna elevate my feet, make it a little bit harder. Squeeze those glutes when you come up. And breathe. So one more time with a push-up, ground it overhead. Then we have prone leg extension, then the bear hold. So we're in two positions, two exercises back to back, kind of in that bear hold position to kick back some mountain. Okay. It's a lot of quad activation there. That's out of the way. Alright, start with my left. I want to do the ground over. Make sure you have your band nearby. I am using my green, which is like a lighter medium resistance. Move these weights out of the way. You won't need them. The triceps. Unless you can go that heavy. I can't. Not when you're in that fair hold. bear hold kickbacks. If the bear holds too much, just do plank kickbacks, or you can always just do standing kickbacks. Ten seconds. Now making yourself in a little upside down being. Have this nearby. I'm already feeling it. Grab my 15s. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of a row and then kick back. Take your time. We're getting core here too.
focus. Back to those prones. Whew. Feeling my quads. Remember stepping in, band in the hands. It's always tricky getting down. Hover and press up. Get in a good position. Cool, feel these. We're almost done this hit set. And then we get another super set. Halfway there. We're tight. Feel these, oh my god. 15 seconds. Last five. Oh. All right, oh my God. Who knew a band could be so brutal and cruel? <laughs> Shake it off. All right. Push through these last 50 seconds. And then those quads are talking to you. All right, try and put more focus on those triceps. Forget about those quads, all right? So I'm going to try my best to do five reps. And the plies, though, we're going to do drop sets. So grab weights that work for these rep sets. So it'll start with 15 plies, five pull-ups. Then we're going to do 12 plies, five pull-ups, 10. And then the last rep of the plies, we're going to do eight and eight with the drop set. So go heavy with the eight, and then lower your weight for those last eight reps. Whew, all right. So I'm going to use, I'm going to start with some of those 15 reps. I'm going to start with... 50. All right, so one stance. Toes are out. So even though, yeah, we did a lot of squats, this is going to focus more on inner and outer part of the thighs. Deep breath. Grab your weight. You can hold it up high or you can hold it low. Whatever's comfortable for you. I'm going to give my arms a little bit of a break, especially since we're doing pull-ups, and not hold it erect. Three, squeeze it. Four, Five, six, seven, eight, chest up, sitting back, nine, focus on those muscles, ten, eleven, twelve, weight in the heels, thirteen, fourteen, and all right, on to my five pulls. Deep breath. Chest to the bar. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, please now, we'll do 12 reps. I'm gonna go heavy, or <laughs> even though this is the heaviest I got here, so just make do with what you have. I guess I could always use my bar. <laughs> I like doing plays with the kettlebell though, because it gives you room. 12 reps. So I'll have to use these for my neck. Last three. Maybe I'll use dumbbells, we'll see. Actually, I don't really have the heavier. <laughs> three. Four. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, remember we have 12, two more, 11, you can always add a band too. Okay, so you can loop it through. That would work as well. All right, five plus. Make it work with the equipment you have. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, we're on to 10. Whew. One up. Sit back into those heels, squeeze inner and outer. One, two, three, four, five, and squeeze those glutes. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Five more reps. Deep breath. Do whatever you need to do to sub these out. Bent rows would be great. And just do more reps. Two, three. Four and five. All right, this is our drop step up round. So I'm gonna go from my heavier to my 50s that I started with. This is actually 65 if you weigh it. So just 15 pound decrease. Eight and eight. Last round. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is all I have after. So if you have heavier weights at home, do what works for you. Make make it work. All right. This is all I have outside my garage. It's enough though. <laughs> Two, three. Not complaining. <laughs> four. Again, increasing one to five. Let's get through these. This is moving pretty quick, this workout. One, two, three, four, one more. And five. All right, we got through this. Right, this next set. Is similar to the one we just did a while ago, and it's increasing reps. We're gonna do with a kettlebell. You're gonna do static for one, and then row for one, or one for one. Then come back up, static for two. So I think I'm gonna use my 40. I'm gonna try my 40. So what we can do is we're doing one side at a time all the way to the five reps. All right, so grab that weight. Down for that one static hinging, one row. One, two, one, and two. Back up for three, balance. One, two, this is a real quick one. One, two, three, back up for four. One, two, three. It's like little mini burn arms. One, two, three, and four. Back up for five. One, two, three, four, 
and five. Last time. One. This front leg is on fire. Two. Three. Four. And five. Large recover. We have that other side. We're almost done. We're just gonna finish out with some core. On the other side. Told you it's gonna go quick. Very right, grab it. It's nice to have these every once in a while. Right, make sure you have your balance. One inch and one. One. Two, one, and two. Focus on each movement in its form. Three, hinge, one, two, three, and upright. One, two, three, and four. One, bring that shoulder blade in. Three, and four, five reps. One, two, three, four, right, this is it. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh. The front leg is on fire. All right, guess what? We have a finisher with the band. Core, I'm using a really light band here, okay? So you can have range of motion. Our four moves, and this is 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We'll do this, let's see, let me see what my time says. Let's do it three times. Whew. So four moves, this is eight minutes, okay? Eight minutes of that. So what we're gonna do, where is my timer? We're gonna put the band around our feet. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do is, you're gonna do bicycles, so it's gonna be around the tops of your toes. Then you're gonna grab it for bear hold, put it in your hands, because you're gonna press out, walk and bear hold again. <laughs> then you're gonna grab it, put it in your feet, because you're gonna have your feet elevated and do toe touches. Keep your legs out wide. And then your last move is planks, so keeping in your feet again and tapping out. All right, so get ready for this last eight minutes of your workout. Hopefully, this bicycles. All right, so you're gonna bring it in. So make sure you have a nice stretch in your band. If you don't have a band, just don't use a band. All right, you can always put ankle weights. That's an option. Ankle weights would be great. And then just tap your hand out with no band for the bear hold. Try and get that knee and elbow. It's a slow and controlled. All right, coming on up. Grab that band around the wrists in your bear hold. And you're just gonna tap out and in. You'll have it around your feet again for the toe touches. Make sure your knees are hovering, your body's not rotating. Try to keep it still. Eight seconds. Just be happy this is the end of the workout. Pretty quick, getting head to toe. Always nice to end with a little bit of core. All right, coming in. And feet up in the air. Legs out wide. You're gonna do little reaches. But try and keep your legs out wide as wide as it can. You're gonna feel a little of your outer thigh. If you want, you can add a ball between your legs and start getting a little bit of inner thigh. If you don't have a band, that's another way to make it a little bit harder. Maybe seven seconds. And we're going to that plank, leg side out, similar to the bear hold, we're in plank, and the legs are going out. Actually, let me just put it around the ankles. All right, finish that first round. So you're in plank, and tapping your leg out. 
bicycle will be next. Hit something. <laughs> so hold it. You should feel your abs working every time. So I'll feel one side while the legs tapping out. Working those obliques. You can feel it. Five seconds. Popping them in. Give myself more space. I got those bicycles. I'm going to put it on top of my feet. In front of my shoe. We got bicycles. Twenty seconds. Twelve seconds. Press that foot out. Bring that one in. Four seconds. All right. Come on up, bear hold, bang into the hands, tapping it out, so, out, so reaching out, make sure your body is like a nice little, I guess like perpendicular or parallel to the ground, but the arms perpendicular 90 degrees, 10 seconds. We got those toe reaches. Alright. Around the feet. Spread out those legs. Reach up. Really focus when you're getting upper abs. Bicycle is going to get lower, and then we're feeling the obliques when we do the bear and the plank holds. I mean, you'll feel the entire abs for those two moves, but when you're doing the reaching out with your legs and reaching out with your hands, you're getting more obliques. Plank, pull the leg side out to finish round two. Eight seconds. We 
this planks. Thirty seconds. Tap that leg out. This is it. Give it all you got. Fifteen seconds. and like my channel and let me know what you think don't forget cool down stretch drink lots of water throughout the day and get your vitamin d and i will see you next time bye